Here is a next video. I had started doing a little bit of this box form that I'm going to do next that includes everything except the back block. And obviously there's empty space here. Um, because of the of the setup and we're going to be the way that the perspective is set up is that we'll end up it's a good thing to, to sort of learn and, and play with and, and shift around and realize how much influence you can have as far as moving changing the feel and changing where things are appearing to be viewed from but there was a couple things that were getting a little wonky and just to to make sure I sort of mention it, I can tell that um, that this triangle is a little bit um, a little bit taller than this one. So that tells me that this angle for the photo is m sort of more like something like that. But once again, just having fun with setting this up and and playing with it. And this triangle, as you can see by sort of completing that little right triangle, that this this um, this edge is actually longer than this one and on here it looks either very close to the same or sort of the opposite so there would be a couple things to adjust but um, like I say going with it kind of what we have perspective drawing does feel like a combination back and forth between setting up rules and and then changing them if it's not quite working for you. But you sort of need, yeah. I'll talk more about that later. So let me try, let me try that for, um, I'm gonna start this box and this is my leading closest edge. Once again, I can tell it's, I'm sort of way off from the the photograph because this is almost the same height as that point but on the original photograph it was way up there but I don't want to put that line too high up in fact it might still be a little bit high maybe I'll shift it to about there Yeah, see how that one feels. Get rid of those other ones. So the back up down edge for that plane would be there. I'm gonna um just create a line from here to my other vanishing point to the right. As this line is going away and to the right. And something like that. And then this up down is like that. Well, you can see the box coming together, although I grant you it's um, fairly messy. So much so that I'll just knock it back a little bit. I have plenty of time to come back over lines that I want. Yeah, 
makes things a little easier to, to see what's going on. Here is my back edge pointing towards that vanishing point, hopefully. And that's another away to the right. And then my last one. Man, I can almost reach. Be something like that. So now I'm going to look at this and just sort of think to myself. Yes, I can tell it's slightly different than this. But if I have my um, if my so-called cushions end up about halfway, well, I think we'll just have a lower couch. But I could certainly take the time and raise things up a little bit higher. But I'm going to see what happens with this. So there's that box. And let me um, just sketch in what would be the hidden back lower edge, as well as the hidden that hidden edge going to the left in a way, this one to the right in a way. And hopefully these intersections are going to line up exactly, which they aren't, but that's to be expected. <laughs> um, back and sort of adjusting some things. So that seems decent to me. I'm going to um I'm going to come back and think about these these arms. And I think maybe I had you know, I, yeah, it might be a little too thick. You can tell the um, proportions are getting pretty off from from what they are there. So um maybe I'll sort of shave that down a touch and only make it this wide. And I'll need to um, adjust this one as well because I used the uh, my crisscross points which actually are a little bit different now anyway so this is good to do. So I'm gonna reestablish my um, crisscross lines to find the middle. So the middle is going to be about there. Let's reestablish this sort of this line too. And the ground plane, the bottom plane. Shift it a little, but not much. This is the one I'm kind of curious about. So I want to transfer this length over to this, to the opposite side. I'm going to take 
this point, aim towards the vanishing point until I intersect with this diagonal. I'm going to take that diagonal and aim it, well, that where those intersected, that point, and aim it towards my right vanishing point. And where it intersects with that diagonal, which you can tell is a little bit different than where it was, is where I'm going to make the next line. And I am going to just eyeball it. OK, I won't eyeball it. So that would be something like that, which looks a little smaller than what I would expect. Um, but I know that the perspective is exaggerated. What seems a little bit off to me is that this line and this line don't seem to really be converging. I'm going to double check. I think I wanted something. I'll probably over overcompensate now. I think maybe something more like that, which doesn't really change that a whole lot. But it makes me uh, a little bit more confident and and working that out. That that is following the rules of this particular perspective setup that I've created. So that would be that. I'll complete these uh, the arms. I hope that's what they're actually called. Side. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so that would come about there. This would intersect here and just drop straight down. All up down lines to just go straight up and down. Okay, so something's a little off there. We'll look at that in a second. I'm just trying to complete this. block right here. And it looks like maybe I can coax it into looking about right. Not perfect, but that's okay. Hopefully you can sort of see that construction of that block. Let me try doing a similar thing over here, but um, once again, I want to try to. Um, it's just seeming a. It's already seeming thin, and now it seems like it's getting even thinner. So I'm gonna. Um, Give that line a little more heft. I 
if you've never done construction drawing like this perspective construction drawing your brain might be really hurting right about now trying to track everything that's going on is something to definitely practice and go easy on partly because it's not sort of unless you're really <laughs> a lot more careful than I am it's not there's a trade-off between perfection and taking all the joy out of it in my humble opinion got a little bit messy and I'll likely come back and sort of think about what's working and what's not working with that but I think that's okay for now let's see this was the line that um, I used to transfer that distance over there I'm not gonna need that I still want those um, crisscross I bet I'll need those and I want to know definitely where this point is I'm just I'm gonna um, say that the um, cushions are about halfway up that edge and I just sketched in a line let me be a little bit more careful about that Gonna block in um, both of the uh, both of these as just sort of one large one large block, and then I'll draw a line down the middle, split them in half. Yes, this will take thinking. That edge is going to go about there. I'm going to um, just sketch in that line that would be the back back edge of these cushions which is will be covered up by this so just sort of making a box in a box maybe this one I'll <laughs> gotta stop doing that maybe this one will be more uh, use the ruler So it's looking a little bit more like a uh, some sort of pull-out couch bed or something or a futon um, sleeper more than a couch. So we live and we learn. That's what I say. I'm gonna clean things up a little bit. knock back some lines and make sure it's not too confusing. So this point would aim towards the left vanishing point from the lalas. go 
st oh. Oh, that's fun. I could just hurt my own brain. Oh yeah, I see. Nice. I shouldn't have stopped there. That's uh <laughs> That is the rear lower edge and I want this line to go all the way to the top edge. Something felt cattywampus there. That was fun. So let's see. Basically what I have is a bunch of different blocks. Here's the left cushion one. That's where they would divide. And then this, the right one. This line was to the original. Big block. And once again, I'm just gonna roll up my kneaded eraser and snake it out a little here. Sometimes I just blend that away though too. But this helps keep it cleaner. And in general, I encourage you to just do all of this lighter than I'm doing. <laughs> 